Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Uh, as you can see, I am sitting outside and we are asking the question today, what is a ratio? Okay, now we have done ratio in a few examples. Um, you've seen this term thrown around, but maybe you're still not quite sure what a ratio actually is. Well, number one, a ratio is a comparison, right? It's a comparison, number two, between, I'm going to take this easy, between two or more quantities, okay? Quantities, and number three, that have the same unit, okay? So let's go through it again. What is the ratio? It is a comparison between two or more quantities that have the same unit. Now we show this ratio by means of a colon. Like if I say a ratio of four to one. Now when writing your ratio, please remember that order does matter. Because if your sentence says, for example, the ratio of sand to cement is three to two, right? Then that means that the sand is three parts and your cement is two parts. Now you can just imagine that if you get it the other way around, it's going to cause a problem when people are actually, actually mixing this up. Okay, so you do want to get that right. It is a ratio of three parts sand to two parts cement. A ratio is also simply a way of, you know, writing a fraction in a different way. For example, if I've got a ratio of one to four, that can also be expressed as one over four. Okay, but when simplifying a ratio, we are basically multiplying or dividing both numbers in the ratio by the same amount. So, for example, if the ratio of a, just put this here, if the ratio of a boys' school is a ratio of 5 to 10, then the ratio in its simplest form would then be 1 to 2. After doing what? After dividing both sides by 5. If I divide it by the same amount, if I say divided by 5, that obviously becomes 1 over 1, which is 1. And I divide this by 5, that becomes 2. Then the ratio of 5 to 10 in its simplest form is a ratio of 1 to 2. 